my people, what adjustments Rafael Devers is doing for 2024 in his swing? Papi, he just did an interview about his swing, about his mechanic, because he think the pitchers are throwing too hard. Yes, so difficult. Harder. Like the the how you the how you I don't know the pitching what the pitching roster, is like nasty. It's nasty. nasty. Let, let let's watch this interview. I'm gonna translate for you because here in Castro Bros, we are the only one that can translate good information for y'all because we got a good information in Spanish too. Okay, so more about baseball. You're talking about one of the best guy in the game right now. La mano muy alta. Okay. Antes, ahora trato de bajar mi mano para que salga un poquito más rápida, porque como te dije, todos los pitches están duros, mío. So he wanna change his hands from don't have it too high to put it back here to a little bit more close this year because the pitch is throwing too hard. That's why he say. Para tratar de llegarle a la reta ahora mismo, hay que hacer ajuste. To get to the goal right now, you had to make adjustment. If not, you have to hit those hard fastballs. Yep. That, that, that nasty. See. So you know what is that? It's nasty. They look nasty or what? Pictures are hard. Le tiran uno en el centro que tira 100. Uno en el séptimo. Ya, el abridor está 100. The starters is throwing 100. El relevit, el, el del séptimo está 102. El... The one in throw in the seventh inning is like 102. El cerrador está 105. And the closer is 105. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Pues ya hay que hacer ajuste. <laughs> el lado mío, ya okay. nadie tira suave. No. Nadie tira suave. You, you know what? Nobody throws slow. Nobody throws slow. El que tira suave, no, no come, familia. No come. If you throw slow, you don't, you don't eat. eat. You don't make money. No come, no. Ahora mismo no. Va, va, va complicado. Sí, va complicado, man. It's more complicated. It's more complicated. If you throw slow, you don't have no chance. No chance. So, that's the interview. And I think it's very important <laughs> talking about this because a lot of y'all go with the, ah, my mechanic is good. I can hit, however, because I'm the best in my team. Dude. You're not playing nowhere yet. Even college kids, they're playing somewhere, but there's not the best of the best yet. So don't think because you can hit in college, you can be fine in the in this level. But you have to get ready with your mechanics early enough so when you get to this level, you already know how to hit. You already know how to work to see the ball slower. He's seeing the ball faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Now, he were talking about hands over here. He want to put the hands more close to his body. I think it's a great adjustment. As long as he don't put, he don't start thinking about the front foot. Because Forget I'll, the front foot down and stuff like oh, that. No, huh? no, 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 no. A lot of guys, I mean, Carlos Correa tried to do that adjustment last year. It don't work. It don't work. He lands so early. He lands so wrong and everything was drifting and it's not staying back. So the front foot is not a problem. So he's focused more on something that is, it can be a problem. It yes. can be something that, yeah, the hands more here, that can be something to 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 adjust. Now, this is his swing two years ago. It's hard to find his videos because you know he's not that guy that people want to see all the time. He don't want to be a showman. He's and not. He don't like that. He don't like social media. He yeah. Don't, he don't like to be. He don't like the interviews too much. No, no, no. He don't. So that's why it's so hard probably to find videos but, because mm -hmm. you, they don't get no enough uh, power behind. But like, the thing is, he's the face of Boston. He's the face yeah. of Boston. And it's like nobody, not too many people care about him. Mm -hmm. I, but his, his numbers say another thing. Yes. Exactly. His, day, his numbers do what he's supposed to do. You know, like he bring the consistent to be a leader. Now, if he talk more, he'd be better. Yes. Now, whatever. That's just his option. That's, just, that's the way he played. Normally, a lot of players, they feel more comfortable without talking. They feel more comfortable just, I want to give me the bat. You wanna play. I just want to play the ball. Uh, somebody can be the leader. I just want to play. And, and and I think that's better sometimes. Sometimes. See, if you don't have, if you don't want pressure, too much pressure, that's a better way to play it. But if you want pressure and if you're not performing, be ready for it. Well, 
I like the kind of player because it's it's interesting. Is this the kind of player that you don't realize how good it is until he he grabbed that glove, the ball, and the bat? Mm -hmm. It's like interesting, like dude, mm -hmm. this is an awesome player, and they don't you don't even notice that he's the best player until yeah. he start playing. Well, I like the players that got swag and they talk. Oh yeah, I well, like those that they got confident. We call it confident, not cocky, confident. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have to be strong right here because you're going to have those bad weekends, Ooh. bad season, bad days, and people going to get in your butt. Just you like happy bias. Yeah, the, happy bias. El mago. My happy bias, papi. Everybody's talking shit about him. Everybody. Everybody. Just because he's a showman and he's not performing. But I think somebody needs to, like, get him a little bit of, like, you know, like a backup coach mm -hmm, you know like mm -hmm. those coaches that are just telling straight up yeah get, get what the but apparently give you too much money and you're not doing anything yeah, right now come I, on bro I think, I think they need to do something like that or change something. your freaking hitting coach that you're working with right now <laughs> god dang it maybe go to you the freaking to castro bros and you'll be fine it's not be better i know he's it's no excuse to hit like that i mean let's whatever have your bias that's another subject yeah that's another subject um we stay in Devers. They call him Carita. <laughs> Carita is like little face. Yeah, Carita is a little face. So if you can see people, Carita is like baby face probably. But he, he got like a, baby. a baby face. He does. He got like a little baby face and a big body. <laughs> so that thing that was funny. All right, so this is mechanic. In my opinion, he... he Right. He he turned the back leg on the on the back side. He's not he's not in the front side. He's just too the the movement forward is too aggressive. It's yeah. like it's like drifting forward. Like when he land, he keep drifting a little bit forward, but he's still bringing the right sequence. So I feel like he can be better hitter if he can clean that movement forward with the same sequence that he bringing okay and then when you're drifting forward a little bit normally everything looks faster because imagine this the ball has come so fast that you are hitting doing this yep so guess what you will hit it you probably can hit it but then you will see that little you're putting a little bit more speed in the ball when you know this ball is already fast so we got players right now in the spring training. They say they see the ball so big because we work on the situation that you can put your body to see the ball so big. He probably is not putting himself sometimes in the situation that he can see the ball slow or big because it's that extra movement forward don't allow him to just have a little bit control with that ball movement. Okay? Yep. So that's one answer for his mechanic to he can be more consistent this year. I don't saying that he was bad player. I'm saying like, dude, if we try to be stop thinking average, stop thinking that you cannot be better because you were already good. You are putting yourself a limit right here, a roof. roof. And you cannot do that because you don't know your potentials until you try everything. And a lot of y'all scared to try something. A lot of y'all try scared to try something that it may change your life, but you just because you're scared to fail or you're scared to try something that is not comfortable, maybe you never find out how truly you are as a player or as a baseball player, or as a hitter. Okay. You have to be open-minded in this game. You have to be willing to accept change. You have to be willing to maybe not super change, but like right now, if I go talk to him, I would not try to like, let's just change everything. It's just more like, a, okay, like I say, if you're drifting a little forward and we can control that movement forward, you're probably going to have more time to see the ball. You're still going to bring the same energy you're bringing as a separation deal with a great separation you have, 
but we're going to bring it more in control moving forward so we can slow down everything out here and then you will see the ball better mm -hmm. because like he said he complaining about ball coming too fast and when you're talking about ball coming too fast it's true people this guy is already a millionaire and he trying to make adjustments because he figured out pitchers throwing harder every year they evolving so you as a hitter you have to make sure that you understand the evolving the change that you have to do for you to play in this level players that are not focusing nothing and they're like eh, whatever you cannot follow that because maybe some of those players they're good because they're like, ah, i just keep doing my thing sometimes they're they're putting their body in the right situation without even knowing it you know yep you probably see this guy ah he's hitting good and he told me that he just keep hitting like he way he he used to think no but when you watch the video you will see the body move is right or you will see that he got a better athletic ability than you mm -hmm. so you have to make sure that you understand athletic ability to play the game is a different than a let than elite move on your mechanics now if you match both and put the lead move in your mechanic with athletic ability you got a mvp you got a, a hall of famer guy and then after that come the mental side it come like the hard work decisions that you're making through, through your career that's all aside to be excellent right but when you put your mechanics right even if you're not that athletic even if you're not that fast even if you are not have the best eyes, even if you don't have the best coordination, you're putting in a, yourself in a better position to compete. Okay? So this guy, you're talking about a guy that makes so much millions, you're thinking, he's good. Nah. He's fine. He's making adjustment. He is making Maybe Javier Baez needs to make adjustment. Like too comfortable. Man. Javier Baez got too comfortable probably. You have to be proud of being yourself and your last name and willing to understand change, willing to adjust. Pictures are no joke in this level. If if we hear something every day about these pro guys coming to us when they when we're talking about, they say, no, as soon as you get out triple A and go to the MOP, it's like every day fight with the pitchers it's like you don't got no break because sometimes you got yeah the starter is good the starter the starting pitcher start getting tired but then come the reliever with a freaking 100 miles too and then come the closer in triple a you maybe see the starter is like eh, it's okay but then you see the reliever eh. but then you got chances to barrel balls you got chances to feel good yeah you got chances to get to get better numbers and they, that's the, it's a clip tonight sometime for those players. They thinking they're already good. Mm -hmm. And when they get to this level, they thinking they're going to be like triple A. No, no, it's changed. You have to feel like a, you can kill the level triple A. And then that gives you a chance. Okay, man, maybe you can do it, but maybe it's still not. Because you may be not in the right situation to see the ball that fast and that's why if you want to be in that right situation to see the ball the right way and be productive and be elite go subscribe and be a member in the vip in the castro vip in loscastropos.com you're gonna have you're gonna be able to communicate with us we do video analysis to you unlimited and we have drills in the membership that you can be working with yes and the thing is the communication with us is gonna be exactly like this you're going to send those videos and we're going to be just like that talking to you back personalized to you personalized to you unlimited for the whole month and we're going to talk about look at you this is let's imagine this is you and then right next to you is going to be somebody that is elite and then we're going to compare both swings because the thing is yes we got uh, video analysis there too if you want to try once but the thing is, you're going to try it once and then you, you have to, one more. You you want more. You want to try to figure out. Mm -hmm. And then how you're going to figure out is probably listening to us, talking to you and telling you straight up 
look at you missing this, you missing that, you need to work on this. But what better than what we offering? We giving you feedback, we telling you what to work with. Plus, we have drills right there. So we're going to tell you, hey, work on these drills that we have in the membership, specifically on these drills, and let's keep working. We keep getting better. <sighs> Nobody offers that. Nobody offers that. It's like having a coach in your pocket. Yeah, you have the Castro Bros in your pocket, right? There. It's big time. I yes. promise you. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, all, it's already, I like it because it's the conversations we have with the players now and the specific things that we're looking for. I promise you, I, we, we do this every day. Yes. We do this every day. every day, 20 or 30 times a day. We all kind of players, all kind of coaches, all kind of, in all kind of levels. But we demand perfection in the mechanics. When you send us a video, we demand some kind of perfection and slowly or fast, it's going to turn you to something better because you will start getting in that Ferrari, you will start feeling fast. Yep. And then when you start feeling fast, you will see the ball better. And when you see the ball better, then you got less anxiety, you got less pressure, less thought process, less, less stress. So now we are just hitting the ball and we can focus on something else. You know, hitting is hard, but don't make it harder than it is. And you need help. And sometimes the help you need is right there in front of you. Yep. It is in front of you. I tell you that. So I feel like he he said that he, he had to fix the hand. His hand's getting lower right there. Yes. I mean, for me, you saw you got people that got the hands back and they still have elite swing, elite, uh, elite movement. But I feel like you will have more control if your hands are closer with your bicep and your form together. See, your hands are closer to your shoulders. But this is what he cannot do. Start pushing the hands because if your hands here and they start pushing, that's wrong. Yes. As long as he got that turn that he have right here without pushing, he going to be fine. Okay. But that sometimes they, they need the communication with the customer so we can fix that. So people, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.